welcome back to another video. I thought I'd start this video off by showing my face because I wanted to announce, if you not didn't see the live stream last week or haven't um, seen the Instagram posts, I've started a Patreon page. Lots of extra art things on there. There'll be um, a video every month, live streams, there's a monthly print. I'll pop the print up now on screen. This is um, November's print, so if you want to receive this, um, you have to pledge to the Patreon, basically just any point before the 1st of December, and then you'll get this print through the post. And then every month we'll have a different print assigned to it. Um, yeah, just lots of extra bits on there for you to, to nosy at. And there's four different tiers, all varying prices. I have been slowly like working away at the Patreon for the past month and I didn't want to like announce it because well, I didn't really know if I'd end up doing it, but I have been working on it for quite a while. There's um, two videos on there at the moment. A sketchbook tour video showing this sketchbook sneak peek and there's a process video of what I think is one of my most like complex ambitious illustrations I've ever done I showed the entire process of that being made in this video you can see the little squares on the wall over there I every square represents a patron patreon patron member patreon member patron I don't quite know all the words but basically this is everyone who um, follows me pledges to me on Patreon, um, although there's 10 missing because I'm still waiting for requests to come in. I also work on like my live stream uh, graphics, is that the right word? Basically like I make a bunch of art to turn into basically all the things that make the stream look nice. I make them, uh, I package some orders, lots of little bits and bobs in this video. Right, that's enough of me talking, um, here's the video, I hope you enjoy it. What you see me working on now is uh, I was doing a collage basically to make my stream look nice. If you've watched the stream before you'll you'll know this stuff but basically um, before a stream starts people usually have like a stream starting soon um, image or kind of little animation up on screen just to let people know well the, the stream will be starting in a few minutes. You also want a be right back screen just in case you need to like step away from the camera for a bit um, during like the middle of the stream and then like a stream ending soon. Uh, so I was making some nice art for that. I've been really into these autumn leaves at the moment. Um, I did it for the Patreon exclusive print and that's very autumn themed and I thought, you know what, let's carry this on because I think it looks really nice. I'd like to do this, but if I get around to it, I don't know, but maybe every season, you know, autumn, winter, spring, what's the other one? Summer. <laughs> like the the border can change to represent that season if I get around to it that would be a nice thing to do like the winter one could be kind of like holly leaves and like the red berries anyway I'm getting ahead of myself for this one I'm just doing the autumn leaves I originally I wanted there to be birds all around it as well and I wanted there to be a bit of animation so I was like planning on animating these birds um, and then I quickly realized that I did not have the time to do that I kind of had one day to pull all this together <laughs> So it was a big task. Um, I ended up just collaging half a page. Um, so basically like half the rectangle. And then I just kind of pieced it together in Photoshop to make it like a full frame around the edge. And then I used a animation software called Critter to just do some very, very simple animations of the leaves falling from the top, which was really easy to do. And I think it works really well. I knew I wanted there to be some kind of movement because if it's just a still image then people might think that it's frozen. <laughs> um, and it's just made, cause like, especially when you start a, a stream, the starting soon picture is up for like a few minutes. So I wanted there to be a bit of movement just so it was more interesting to look at. I'll show you in a second what the starting soon screen looks like. I am for the be right back and the stream ending. I basically just changed the writing in the middle. So that was really simple to do. And then I did my first ever stream for four hours. I can't believe I streamed for that long, but I have taken little snippets of that. I've just randomly chosen a few clips and popped them in from the stream. So yeah, that stream is up on the channel. You can watch that if you ever want some like nice background noise. I mean there's a few um, mistakes, <laughs> a few technical issues but for my first ever stream I think it went really well. So here are some highlights. This is a really good piece of paper so I want to make sure what I cut from it is, is exactly what I want. 
I'm gonna leave that for a bit. I'll come back to it. I'll circle round. Bonsoir de France. Sorry, I've said that wrong. <laughs> Bonsoir, is that how you say that? Bonsoir de France. The only French I know is Havez vous pompeter, which means I have a potato. And um, J'adore mes petits soirs, which means I love my little sister. I don't have a little sister, by the way, I just know how to say it. <laughs> I have a brother, a big brother, but not a little sister. Okay, I feel like I'm getting nowhere. This is just what it's like sometimes, I'm afraid. And I feel really bad because you guys are watching and nothing's really happening. Um, the day to painting collage papers is like a way to feel productive, but... Oh, someone's coming. Your reference picture's gone. Oh, my picture's gone. Mm. Thanks, Dad. Sorry, I never put my picture back. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. See ya. Where's my dad? He's helping me out. Why? Just checking my phone. Oh. Ah, oh, rats. Hold on, bear with. Sorry, I've just made the screen go off. Might go back. Oh, look at that. Oh. And I could barely finish my pizza because I was still so full from this cinnamon swirl. Honestly, they were deadly. Right, I'm going to commit to that because we need to move on. I watch gaming videos because like, I want to play video games but I can never find the time to, want to actually play them. Um, so by watching video games, it's like I'm living vicariously through them and then it's like I'm playing the video game. But I can watch it whilst doing work. Do I want to get my paints out? That's the question because, yeah, I am. I'm acting like it's a big deal. It's really not. They're just here. <laughs> They're so easy to get out. Right, I'm going to add a little bit of detail with some of this acrylic gouache. So this paint here is like these little marks around the edge. And then also I used the white paint here to add a, a little dollop. That's better, isn't it? God, I can't believe I forgot zooming in was even a thing. Right, that's so much better. <laughs> right, sorry about that commotion. Flipping it. Right, back to it. That's so much better. Why didn't I do that to start with? Right, it's a learning curve, guys. First ever stream. Right, back to it. I forgot. This is probably something nice lurking about on this piece of paper somewhere. That's quite nice. Where that kind of joins this colour. I'm worried it might be a bit dark. I can cut it out and try. I think this will work, right? I need to cut the right shape though now. <laughs> okay. Making sure I'm happy with that. Okay, all right, I'm gonna move on. Oh, actually, before I move on, I'm just gonna scribble at it with this. I kept thinking, I can knew it wasn't ripe enough, but I, f I didn't want to throw it away because I didn't want to waste an avocado. So I've pushed through and I've made the whole thing. And I took like two bites and I just thought, I can't do this to myself, I will be sick. <laughs> if I eat this meal, it will put me off avocados for my whole life. Yeah. You know, I'm dead chuffed with that. <laughs> I thought that was going to take loads of attempts. Uh, I know in the picture the feathers are like kind of curved on the end, but I feel like they just look a bit weird. <laughs> so I'm gonna make mine more pointy. So I just don't feel like they're really reading as feathers. Yeah, I just feel like that instantly looks better. I know it's not really true to the picture, but I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> just make them a bit more pointy because I just feel like then it's obvious that they're feathers. Okay, I'm gonna add a, a strip of dark. I've decided that's what I'm doing. I'm adding a strip of dark. Is that too much? Right, sorry. Um, I will share the finished thing on my Instagram story. Sorry, I'm so tired. 
<laughs> my brain's going foggy. Right, I'll share the finished thing on my Instagram story. Um, just need to finish the feet. I had a bit of a claw, some claw business. Um, the beak. I'll add a few finishing details to the wings. I feel like this needs, something needs to happen here because it's too much of an empty space. And then I think it'll be done, but the finished thing will be shared. Let me give you a closer look. Um, thanks everyone for commenting and, and watching and sticking around. Um, I will be doing more. I'll definitely be doing, I'll be doing one every month on Patreon and I'll probably do some more on here as well when I get the chance. I'll see you soon. Uh, goodbye. Uh, hello, I thought I would show a little bit of packaging um, orders because I don't really show it very often whilst I talk about like the whole Patreon thing, the whole, that whole Patreon business. So the reason I decided to make one, well at first I was a bit on the fence because I just want it, I have, a, I have high standards, I've got very high standards and I don't want people to pay for something that they're not going to be happy with the pressure of like okay so this is now something people are paying for has always kind of put me off because like my standards are so high I want to make sure it's like the best thing ever <laughs> basically and also just the pressure of like if I, if I don't make a video for YouTube for a while it's not really that big of a deal when people are paying for it it's like you have commitments then you have to you have to honour those commitments. That's always kind of been something that's put me off of the idea, oh, even though I've always really wanted to do one, I've always kind of oh, doubted myself if it's something that I'll be able to make good enough that people will want to actually pay for it. So there's that whole thing. I I was looking at other people's Patreons, doing, doing some snooping, and I was just thinking, you know what? If, if, if these people are doing it and giving it a go, why can't I give it a go? Um, and so that's what I'm doing. I'm testing it out, I'm trying it, and at the moment, I mean, I've only been doing it for, like, at this point, a week, but I'm really enjoying it. The real pressure will start next month, because this month I had everything prepared. Although I have been posting on it a lot since, I've been doing pretty regular updates, actually. I'm quite happy with how consistent I am with posting on there at the moment. Next month I feel like the pressure will, it will be a bit more because this time I've, I've had everything prepared in advance. Uh, so already like the thought of having to make a brand new print for next month for, you know, the print, the tier that gets like prints sent to them every month is like, okay, that's a bit of pressure because I need to make sure it's just as good as the last one, like a print that makes people want to stick around basically. Um, and I'm sure I'll make something really nice, I already have plans for it, I'm thinking of, well I really like the owl that I collage, so I would like to do an owl based collage, maybe an owl in a landscape. But yeah, there's all these different thoughts knocking about in the old head about the Patreon, but I'm really glad that I've, I've done it, I've, I've like the support I've had on there already has been like overwhelming. I think at the moment I've got 37 like paying members and then there's like you can press on the Patreon, I'm not really sure what that button's there, but you can press join for free because occasionally there will be updates which like the public can see as well. So you can join it for free, although you don't really get that much out of it. But at the moment there's 70 people in total who have who have joined, but of those 70 people, 37 are actually like paying members, which is a lot more than I ever thought I would get. I genuinely thought maybe five five members in the first week or so, but yeah, I'm really glad I'm doing it because, truth be told, YouTube really doesn't pay very well, sponsorships don't happen very often, and neither do commissions and jobs, so my main source of income is is my shop mainly, I mean I do get a few sponsorships here and there and they pay, they, they help with the old uh, money side of things but basically it I've, I've reached a crossroads where it's do I continue working on my art career I suppose full time and like sharing my art and making videos and doing everything that I do I feel like I have there's so many different aspects of my job do I continue doing that full time or do I rein that back a bit and just do that for maybe three days a week and then get a uh, like a air quotes normal job but like what job this, this job is normal but you know what I mean like a, a job where I leave the house and like go somewhere else <laughs> and I thought let's just try the patreon and see how it goes 
because I think I'd be mad at myself if I didn't give it a go. Anyway, there you go. In conclusion, I'm very happy I've started the Patreon and I, I hope it's as good as I can make it. At the moment, I'm really liking it. Those are the thoughts in my head. Hello, I've been cutting out all these little uh, squares from, is this called hardboard? I'm not entirely sure what this is called, but I had a big sheet of this left over from a project I did uh, a while ago. So I thought I would use that. I cut it all off me, it took, it added an extra like two hours to this project because I decided to make all these little squares. But I think it will make what I'm about to do look a lot better. I'm going to make a little piece of art for every single Patreon patron that joins uh, my Patreon. So these squares will be filled with a simple little collage and then at the end of it I'll line them all up like perfectly. Oh gosh, um, like you know in, in nice rows like that. Whenever anyone new joins my Patreon I'll make another one and it'll get added to the to the group. And it's basically just a way to kind of thank someone for joining the Patreon by making them a little, you know, a little collage which represents. I've given people the option to choose what they want their collage to be. I don't know if this is something which I'll continue at the moment. I feel like it's nice to give people the option um, to make it more personalised. There we go. At the moment I've got 32 uh, Patreon members, which means I've got to make 32 of these little collages. So it's going to take me a while, but I'm hoping each one won't take me too long because they will be really simple. Um, I'll probably spend the rest of the day doing this and probably, I imagine, most of tomorrow as well. Uh, but that's the plan and I think it'll look really cute at the end of it. I really enjoyed making these squares. I loved how small they were and although some of them I could get done quite quickly, like half an hour, some of them were more of a challenge but I quite enjoyed the challenge, like some of the animals I've never like drawn before, let alone collage before, like a, a crab, a, a, a squirrel, squirrel, I say squirrel but I know that's not really how you pronounce it, but there you go. Um, what else have I done? A cat, that was, I've never collaged a cat before. A horse, that was difficult. I ended up just doing a horse head, but basically it forced me to collage things that I never would before. And I feel like it's pushing me outside of my comfort zone. And I kind of need that push sometimes because I can get very stuck just kind of making out of the same things again and again. But now, hey, I know I really enjoy collaging cats, so maybe in the future I can do uh, more cat collages and maybe some bigger detailed ones. At first I was only going to offer the requests, is that the right word? I was only going to offer people to personalise their tile for the first few people who joined. Um, and then after, I don't know, a week had passed, then everyone else I would just collage whatever I fancied on the tile. But then I feel like the whole point of the tile is that it's... Well, the whole part of the tile is like a thank you for joining and it's a way for me to see my individual members like on my wall and I could like physically see the Patreon growing um, as opposed to just like a number on a screen. It was just nice to have like a, a representation of it in my room which I could just look at whilst I was working. And I think having the people request what they want makes it so much more personalised and it makes it more fun for me because uh, well, there's a few people who haven't left their requests yet and I was planning on just collaging whatever I fancied for those people but I got around to it and I'm just there staring at a blank white square and I'm thinking I just haven't a clue what to collage. <laughs> I need, like I really enjoyed that request so I'm going to carry that on. Um, so anyone who joins my Patreon from now on, 
yeah, please request what you'd like on your tile. I think I might make it like an automated, because when people join, I can send them an automated email to say thank you. So I think what I'll do is I'll put on that email the thing saying, please message me with what you'd like your tile to be. That way, basically people don't miss it. <laughs> yeah, because there's a few people who've joined who haven't requested. If you're one of them, I don't know uh, if they'll be watching this, but if you're one of them, please request what you'd like your tile to be, please. <laughs> I think I've got, there's two more that I need to do that have left left their requests last night. A ladybird and a sausage dog, which will be fun to do. Penguin, oh, the, I've never collaged a penguin before, but now I think that's my favourite one. I really love the penguin. And then I think the cat's probably a close second. And then I really like the squirrel as well. I like them all, really. <laughs> I think they're all really cute and I love the way they look on my wall. And I'm excited to you know, hopefully start seeing the wall grow as more people join. And then I don't know what I'm going to do because I, I, I know I'm fully aware that people will leave the Patreon as well, which is completely fine. There's no pressure to join and then stay joined forever. People will like jump in and out and, you know, someone might unfollow. I don't, that's not the right word. <laughs> it's, it's not Instagram, but someone might stop following the Patreon, but then two more people might join. So like, there's no pressure to stay joined, but then I'm like, what do I do with their tiles once they leave? I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there. I think I'll probably just keep all the tiles up on the wall because I like the way it looks. And then it's just a way for me to see everyone who's joined, past and present, whether they're still a member or not. I hope you've enjoyed this video, a little behind the scenes of me starting my first ever Patreon. Everybody's linked in the description, my Patreon, my shop. Uh, but there, obviously, there is no pressure at all to follow my Patreon. Yeah, don't worry about that like following my videos and liking stuff on Instagram and just leaving comments is uh, more than enough support so there is really no pressure at all. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I can make it a place which people really like. I'm planning on making it a lot more more about the process because on YouTube everything gets edited down heavily like into like a little two three minute segment but on Patreon I want to show more of the process from start to finish yeah, just really get into the nitty gritty of all the different aspects of art because YouTube kind of floats over a lot of stuff I think because I have to like, I edit things down to make stuff you know short and, and quick so yeah, that's what's going to happen over on there. And with all that being said, I'm going to finish this video here. I hope you have a nice day. Don't forget about that live stream if you want some nice background noise. Um, I think that live stream will be quite nice. I'll also link that in the description. Um, right, that's it from me. <laughs> Goodbye.